the stability of your home depends on a properly built foundation. It anchors your home to the ground and helps prevent strong winds from knocking it over. There are four main components of the typical foundation for standard single-story Bahamian homes. The footing, the stem wall, the backfill, and the concrete slab. The footing comes first. It is a continuous rectangular strip of concrete built into an excavated trench and runs around the perimeter of your future home. This trench must be cut a minimum of six inches into solid rock. The Bahamas Building Code requires the footing to have reinforcing steel bars, also known as rebars. The rebars are assembled with two long pieces running down the trench and shorter pieces holding it together every 24 inches. It looks like a ladder. The trench is typically 16 inches wide and the longer rebars should be 9 and 3 8 inches apart from center to center. This ensures that there are 3 inches on either side when the trench is poured with concrete. Before the concrete is poured, please check that there is no extra debris or organic materials present. Things like bush, grass or soil. These things can cause problems with the strength of the concrete. The building code requires 3 inches of concrete cover all around the rebar when reinforced concrete is in contact with soil or dirt. This 3 inches is vital to help protect the steel bars from corrosion, which over time can weaken the foundation and endanger your home. The typical footing is 10 inches thick, which ensures that there is also 3 inches of concrete cover above the rebar. The foundation stem wall is built on top of the footing and connects to the underside of the concrete slab. Stem walls are typically built with 8-inch masonry blocks laid in a running bond pattern. Foundations constructed more than 2 feet high must be designed by a licensed engineer because they will require steel reinforced retaining walls. Homes with concrete walls will have reinforced concrete columns that extend from the footing and run through the stem walls. The backfill will be under the concrete slab. Just like the footing, please double check there are no organic materials present. And check that the backfill does not have any rocks larger than 3 inches and should be built up in 8 inch thick well compacted layers. The structural integrity of the slab depends on the correct installation of steel reinforcement. In the Bahamas this reinforcement is typically a grid of steel wire, commonly called wire mesh. This steel grid must be located near the middle of the slab for maximum benefit. In this video, you will see all kinds of loose rocks and concrete debris. These things will end up in the concrete when it is poured and will make the slab weaker. You can see this slab is about five and a half inches thick. Our code requires slabs to be at least four inches thick. A strong foundation is critical to the strength and safety of your house. You can find more advice in the Build Back Better manual and it is very important to have the work of your qualified contractor inspected by the Ministry of Works. Then you can ensure that your hard-earned money is invested on a home that will keep your family comfortable and safe through the storms to come.